What? Me? I was so surprised. I couldn't help but speak up. We think it's for the best. Yeah, we talked it over. My parents, in those words, made me overwhelmed. I wondered if it was right to entrust such an important matter to me. What I felt at first was more confusion than joy. My name is Gianna, and I am an ordinary office worker at a small business. When I was working hard, I quickly passed the age of 30. It's not that I don't have marriage in mind. In fact, I have a boyfriend named Owen. But there is a reason why I can't get married even after three years of dating. It's because Owen's father. He is a manager of a first class hotel. Owen majored in economics at university and is currently studying hard to succeed his father. If I marry him, I will support him at a top hotel in a country. I was born into an average family. And I don't know much about management outside of my job. Would I be able to support my future husband as a manager? To be honest, I didn't have the confidence to go that far. It was the first time in a while that I had a paid day off, and I was having dinner with Owen. You know, it's time to start preparing for the future. Owen looked a little nervous, and he spoke to me. I turned to him and froze. I know what you mean. I know what you're thinking about. You're feeling pressure because I'm going to be the manager in the future, right? I nodded my head to his words. It's not that I want you to do anything. I'm studying at my father's place so that I don't bother you. But I still had something hazy in my mind. But I was born into an ordinary family, and I don't know if I'll fit in with Owen's parents. Then don't worry. My parents are nothing like the celebrities you see on TV. Rather, they told me to have a good sense of money. When I was in elementary school, I didn't get any allowance. Owen laughed and took a sip of water. I hope that's really true, but I'm not sure if someone like me would fit in. Then how about you come to my hotel as a guest? What do you mean? Owen began to explain carefully. There's a cafe on the first floor at our hotel. I'll bring my parents downstairs when the time is right. Then you know what they're like. Is that really okay? Isn't it too much for you? Owen nodded his head and smiled. If I can marry you, Gianna, this is nothing. Hearing that, I felt my ears turn red. On the day of my appointment with Owen. I prepared a nice dress and a purse, and headed for the hotel entrance. Welcome to our hotel. I bowed awkwardly to the porter's elegant greeting. Owen told me that some guests are there just for dinner, but Owen said it's fine to dress lightly. I didn't do anything wrong, but my heart is pounding so loudly I can almost hear it myself. Just looking at the decorations in the lobby, I naturally feel more nervous. I asked the waiter for a cup of coffee and waited for them. While I was a little surprised and distracted by the price of the coffee, I heard a familiar voice. Well, I'll give this apology gift to the customer later. I moved my head to look at the front desk. I saw Owen talking with a staff member in a suit. His face looked more dependable than usual. He's probably giving them instructions. I can't interfere with his work. I can only imagine what he's doing. I couldn't help but smile when I saw Owen's work. After the staff went away for a while, an elderly couple came to Owen. How'd it go? Yeah, I just got the call. They said everything's fine. Thank God. He's been a regular customer for over ten years. I recognized his parents from a distance. His parents are more gentle-looking and soft-spoken than I expected. I hope it's the same with me. 
I secretly texted Owen to let him know I was leaving soon and thanked him for making this day possible. They weren't as strict as I thought they would be, and I felt a great weight lifted off my shoulders. Well, I'll be myself in front of his parents. I don't have any special skills, but if that doesn't work out, that's just the end of the story. After several discussions with Owen, we decided on a date to meet his parents. Owen's father is very busy, so we are going to visit him at his work. Owen's mother seems to be looking forward to it. She was worried that her son might not be thinking about getting married. Hello! Welcome, Gianna! She made me feel more welcome than I expected. I'm still a little nervous. How do you do? I greeted her timidly. His father patted Owen on the shoulder with a smile. I'm so relieved to see you have a good partner in your life. Owen scratched his head, embarrassed but happy. Well, Mom, Dad, I'm going to marry Gianna. Those words made me more nervous. I wonder how his parents will react. I felt their eyes on me and looked up. They were smiling and nodding their heads. We are so happy to have such a lovely girl. Now we can all rest easy. <laughs> they looked at each other happily. I had not expected such a welcome, so I was relieved. And at the same time, thankful that I was blessed with in-laws. My father-in-law is a kind man. And my mother-in-law has a certain elegance about her. But she treats me as if I were her own daughter. I talked to her a little bit, and she told me that she really wanted a daughter. I never thought I would have a daughter of my own. Thank you for joining our family. Yes, I'm so excited to join the family. I was so happy to hear her words that I unintentionally replied cheerfully. The wedding preparation proceeded at a brisk pace once they started. Of course, the wedding was to be held at Owen's parents' hotel. With the help of the hotel, the date and plans were decided in no time at all. My in-laws were so happy with the wedding that they decided on a very luxurious plan. I don't know the exact price because all the expenses were paid by my parents-in-law. But even I could understand at a glance that it was a very prestigious and luxurious wedding. My parents were literally rolling their eyes at the thought of me marrying the son of a distinguished family. They were relieved when I told them that I had been welcomed by his parents. They seemed to like Owen's good-natured personality. By the time he left, the mood was completely festive. I quit the company I was working for when I was got married. And I started working for my father-in-law's hotel. At first, my in-laws didn't want me to take this job just because they were concerned about me. Gianna, we are not trying to force you to work here, you know? Yeah, whether you can keep your job or not, my son wouldn't make you feel poor. They told me that. But when I saw what was going on at the hotel through my husband's work, I wanted to be involved. And as a wife, I wanted to support my husband. The management of the hotel was difficult, but I did my own research and studied steadily by getting help from my husband and my parents-in-law. My husband was doing his best at his job, and my father-in-law said it was okay for him to take a step back. Then, my father-in-law was hospitalized after a cold got worse, so my husband became the manager. My father-in-law's health is gradually getting better, and Owen is taking over the hotel's know-how, so we don't have to worry about him. I'm sure you were just tired because you are a workaholic. That's probably true. I think about work all the time. 
leave the hotel business to Owen. Please take a good rest. My parents in law and I had no doubt that my husband would take care of the hotel. But this was the root cause of everything coming after. For me, it was the beginning of a nightmare. Owen, who at first seemed to be doing his job as usual, two months after he took over as manager, little by little, he started to change. How many times have I told you? Don't bring troubles to me, you stupid son of a bitch. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Get out of my sight. I was at my father in law's hospital instead of my busy husband, and I rushed over to him. Hey, this is the lobby. You don't have to yell at him here. What? I'm the one in charge here. Don't interrupt. I was confused by the change in my husband and turned and turned my head down. And I went down the hallway. I looked back and sighed of what I saw. When my father in law was a manager, the hotel had a certain elegance. It used to be a naturally relaxing hotel, but I'm not so sure anymore. Every few minutes, angry shouts echo through the halls, and the guests seem to be grumped. I'm sure my father in law would be sad to see this. My mother in law doesn't seem to approve of his ways either, though she was a bit hard on him from time to time. He's adamant that he is the manager and won't change his ways. I've seen my husband be faithful and humble, but I wonder if this is my husband's true nature. With my father in law's absence and himself on top, I thought my husband had changed completely. It seems that a decent manager has a great influence. The number, the number of customers who used to come when my father in law was in church has gradually decreased. And my husband has been going somewhere these days because he has free time. Of course, it's not to visit his father in the hospital. He's probably going somewhere for fun. But from there, people began to say they couldn't stand Owen's way. Many staff members resigned. Many staff members resigned, including veteran executives who had been with the hotel since my father's time. Now, in addition to poor management, the hotel is facing the difficult problem of a shortage of employees. But instead of changing his attitude, Owen stopped coming to the hotel to escape from reality. I had to fill in for the missing employees. I worked as a waiter and did various other chores to make up for the shortage of employees. Thank you, sir. Please let me know if there is anything I can do. My service skills seem to be well received. I never thought my experience as a part time worker in a cafe during my school days would come in handy. My mother in law was mainly running the business, making up for the lack of stack, just like me. I bet my husband would collapse if he saw us like this. All I could do was force a laugh at her sigh. I'm sorry I dragged you into this too, Gianna. I didn't mean to make you work like this. No, if I can be of any help, I'll do my best. It's not her or my father in law's fault. It's my husband who's completely lost his mind. My husband began to repeatedly go out at night, knowing that his parents were doing all the chores. I, on the other hand, was trying to rebuild the hotel in cooperation with my mother in law and my father in law who was getting back on track. I did everything from management to customer service. Thanks to that, the number of customers started to come back little by little. Some of the employees came back after my father in law told them about the situation. Little by little, 
the hotel's business situation returned to the way it was before. I noticed that the hotel became more profitable than before. I came up with some new ideas. In the course of my involvement in management, I started to organize events to target new customers. I came up with a number of family oriented services. My mother in law said to me, I'm sure it was all thanks to Gianna's ideas. I would smile and cover it up because I was embarrassed. I was relieved to see her happy face. When the business was going down, I was worried that the hotel would go bankrupt. Especially my mother in law. Perhaps because of the stress she was under, she had lost weight. Even then, my husband was escaping in reality and playing around. It was only natural that my father in law would be furious. It was a mistake to let him take over the business, he said angrily. But whatever the situation, we've been through a great ordeal. I felt a stronger bond with my in laws than I had when we were first married. They're not just my husband's parents, they are like my real parents to me. After my husband abandoned his job, his father became the manager of the hotel again. I thought that was going to be the case for a while. But things have progressed in ways I never expected. A short time later, my husband came back to the hotel with an indifferent look on his face. What's the matter? I ran up to him, looked next to him, and stopped. There was a young woman standing next to him, dressed in a fancy dress. I was strongly convinced that the reason he hadn't come home for a while was that there was a woman. My husband looked at me working in a lobby and said, Why are you here? At the moment, he rolled his eyes. I remembered all the hardships I had gone through since my husband left, and I was filled with anger. It's all because of you, isn't it? I almost said it, but I swallowed it down. I was just running an errand. My husband still looked at me quizzically as I replied, You can only do a few chores, can't you? He still couldn't understand what I was doing. And he was acting like the tyrant he'd been before. Well, now that the manager of this place has returned, from now on, you must obey my orders, he told me in an annoying manner. His lover leaned on my husband's arm. Oh my gosh, you are so cool, Owen. I'm not even jealous anymore. My husband feels good about it. The hotel looks better than before. And the number of guests is increasing. Ha! I guess it's the result of my training as a manager. He said something out of line and smiled confidently. It was obvious that he wanted to look good for his lover. Hearing the commotion, my parents in law came to see us. My husband looked proud. Great! Mom! Dad! I've got something to tell you! And he pulled the woman next to him toward him. Gianna, I want a divorce. What? I raised my eyebrows. When he finally came home, he suddenly asked for a divorce. I was so dumbfounded to say anything. Then a woman next to him started talking. Yes, Owen is no longer interested in an old lady like you. And Owen is the manager of this hotel. I always wanted to be that kind of missus. The woman giggled and laughed ungracefully. I couldn't help but laugh when I saw them like that. What's so funny? My husband stared at me upset. Don't tell me you are not divorcing me. I'm going to divorce you even if I have to hire a lawyer. Fine. If you want a divorce, I'll give you a divorce. Then he looked at me with a blank stare. Then, why are you smiling? He didn't seem to understand my attitude. So he attacked me. 
Then I decided to explain the whole situation to him. I don't mind divorcing you, but you're not the manager anymore. When he heard this, he froze. The woman next to him, what do you mean? She looked up at him and asked him what I meant. When he came to himself, he was trembling with anger. Don't talk nonsense. My father gave me the manager's petition. I wonder who was running the hotel into the ground and running away from reality. At these words, my husband's momentum weakened. And then my indos came in right away. That's right. While you were playing around, Gianna was working very hard. So what? I'm the manager anyway. That's why I appointed Gianna as a new manager. What? Hearing this, my husband's face turned pale. That woman next to him also turned pale and asked him, Hey, what does it mean? You said you were the manager. I don't get this. Why? As if to stop them from arguing, my father in law clears his throat. Gianna was the one who turned the hotel around after it was on the rocks for a while. You, Owen, who ruined the hotel, and Gianna who restored it. It's obvious who's more qualified to be the manager, isn't it? But it's. And then my mother in law, who couldn't contain her anger, joined in. The only thing you were worth is that you brought Gianna here. My husband gritted his teeth in frustration. His partner looks at my husband anxiously. My in laws valued my management skills and new ideas. I'd been appointed manager in my husband's absence. I was supposed to be the boss. That's when my father in law interrupted. You were on a probationary period. It wasn't long after that I fell ill, so it wasn't even formalized. What? No way. My husband was stunned. I think he's finally starting to understand the situation he's put himself in. That's why I am transferring all the rights to this hotel to Gianna. You were pretty a stranger before your own son. My husband started shouting, pointing at me and making a fuss. My mother in law stopped him with a snap. Don't be rude to Gianna. Even if you divorce her, she is still our daughter. Even if you are related us by blood, she is much more reliable than an irresponsible son like you. My husband was completely taken aback by his mother's words. The next thing I know, his partner is making a fuss. What do you mean? I was going to leave my husband and get married to you because you said you were the manager. But my husband didn't want to argue anymore. Let's just not make a scene here. Please, leave now. The affair partner also heard my words and fell silent. After that, my husband came to me trying to get back together with me. Of course, I have no intention to starting over with him. My husband was severely scolded by his father. And after filling out the divorce papers, he was cut tie from his parents. As for my ex-husband's affair partner, her husband found out about the affair and was demanding alimony. She doesn't seem too interested in my ex-husband anymore who has now lost his family and his position as a manager. She accuses him of making a fuss about fraud. They are always fighting. On the contrary, our hotel is doing well today. It's recently featured in a magazine as a hotel with good service. Almost all the rooms are occupied, even on weekdays. I'm going to continue to work hard with people at this hotel. They are my family.